Well, this is a Socrates study of a 50 years old. <coughs> and I'm showing you the right hemisocrotum in which you are seeing the right testis in transverse section, which is uh, normal. Doctor also shows normal blood flow. No significant finding is seen relating to the right hemisocrotum, uh, means right testis uh, and or extra testicular area, no varicose seals. Now I'm moving towards the left side. This is the left testis. And if you see, it, 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 it's uh, less echogenic as compared to the uh, right one. This is the this is the right, this is the left. Now you see the echogenicity of the right testis is normal and at the echogenicity of the left testis is markedly reduced. This is normal. Not only that, that its echogenicity is reduced, see the blood flow steady. Its so vascularity is too high and these findings are consistent with inflammation of the testis, epididymitis. This is the longitudinal section of the left testis. Sucrotal wall is not thick. And uh, apart from that, now, this is the epididymis see the echogenicity of the epididymis. Wait, let us focus to the epididymis. Now, epididymis is also hypervascular. This is the epididymis. This is the testis. And uh, here I am showing you the epididymis, this area. The epididymis is thick and uh, it measures approximately 14.9 into 13.3 and is markedly, uh, is not, is mildly dilated with two hypoquake areas seen within the thick mildly dilated. This is the right, this is the left testis. Here is the epididymis, this area. This is the epididymis and you can see how much echogenic it is compared to the uh, uh, testicular parenchyma. This is the testicular parenchyma. This is the epididymis again. And all of this, if I include the epididymis also, all of this is highly vascular. So this is epididymoarchitis up to this point. Moving further into the study, here you see a tubular structure. And this tubular structure that you are seeing, this one, this one, this is the spermatic cord, it is thick my ear is approximately 8.3 millimeters and not only that, we can also see, you will see vessels within it. So this is the spermatic cord that is in view, is thick, is vascular and this is uh, inconsistent with the inflammation of the uh, spermatic cord, inflamed spermatic cord, furunculitis of the spermatic cord, you can say. And this echogenic area that you are seeing also is an extra testicular area. This is the testis. This is a magnified view. Let me bring it to normal. Here we come. 
this is the testis, the, uh, this is the epididymis, uh, the spermatic cord, this one, and below you can see a small amount of reactive fluid. This is fluid with small septas within it, and this is a case of uh, epididymoarchitis with bronchitis of the spermatic cord, and all of this is highly vascular. All this is highly vascular. This is our case of the day. Thank you very much.